Welcome back, everybody. It's time to jump back into the Persia game with Ajam. I have yet to form Persia, though I have the ability to at any time. I'm just trying to get through these achievement, these missions as much as possible, because I'd like to get the free admin power, and I already want to own this land myself anyway. So, yeah, it's just, I want to get Sin here, and I want to take out this last province of Transoxiana's before I fully integrate these guys, and to do that, I'm going to have to get Delhi to, yet again, break their alliance with Bukhara, because they keep allying Bukhara. I don't know why they will not just stop allying them, but they won't, so there's that. And now I'm going to go in, and I'm going to take these cores back. There's only four of them, but that's fine, because I want to get this gold mine as well, because once I have that gold mine, I can integrate Nogai and start really, really ramping up my economy using that gold. As far as this other gold mine here, I'll get that eventually, just not a high priority right now. And yeah, just start integrating people and getting them off the map. Also, with Sin down here, I can use this war to recover some, if not all, of these... Uh, Baluchistan provinces for cheap. So, Bukhar is what I'm going for. Let's go. My vassals should be able to handle this for the most part on their own, but I'm obviously going to have to keep an eye on them. Okay. Why can't you walk? Because the Oirats won't let you. Got it. They still won't give access. Even better. I'm so going to be annoyed if I can't walk out of here, but... I can at least do that so I'm not taking attrition. Or moves. No, you'll come in, won't you? You think that, inter that province is vital interest, so that's not good. Oh, perfect. You're letting me through. Awesome. I appreciate that. See, I wouldn't. I can't attack Sin directly because Delhi has guaranteed them, and that is really frustrating for an ally to do that because basically they're stopping me from expanding, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Why are you still disloyal? I developed you. That should be enough. All right. If I'm not going to be able to do that. I'll pull back so I can at least still have my Diplo power. Yeah, you're slowly moving in that direction. That's good enough. And why has Transoxiana stopped? I'm still paying for it, but apparently it stopped, because it's still stuck on 0.4%. He's not disloyal. How am I still losing money? Hmm. I need to figure that out. Oh, Austria is about to have a bad day. I don't think I need to assault the fort, but that's going to depend entirely on how long this takes. Or blast open the fort. That's a better way of phrasing that. You know what? I think you got this handled. Please just actually get it. Thank you. And again, quiet music. It's, uh, hmm. Listen to something a little different, then. Who can I call in? Hormuz? Yeah, I guess I can call you in now. Alright. Why am I called into this? Because you're attacking Kanga. Okay. Wipe these guys out. And you've taken Al Karak. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and just hire another mercenary group. I'm not going to actually recruit no guys. In fact, 
given that many force limit I have available, what is the combat width? 27. So I need a couple more guys for here. Let's hire them here. And they'll go there. But otherwise, let's build a 20 stack reinforcement. Might as well. Take, make use of the manpower. Come on. Break him. Oh, come on. So close. Oh. That's painful. Okay, I gotta find out why I can't seem to integrate Transoxiana, because they really should be getting integrated. Like, there's no reason to not be. Did you just fire and delete some of my infantry that I just hired? Like, did you actually do that? Or am I hallucinating? Why am I fighting? Oh, that's right. Uh... No. That's not happening, Deli. I know you think that you're going to, I don't know, beat me, but no. Is that why? Because that guy didn't have a general on there? I could have swore he did. Well. Either way. Yeah, I think he took out one of my infantry that I had recruited. Cool. He's taking care of that. I really don't want to be doing that, but I, whatever. I didn't want to attack this guy here, but whatever. You move in there. And now you turn to hit him there too. Much better, thank you. The amazing effect of actually having a general when you think you do. And I'm out of manpower. Am I able to shove you towards... Yes, I am. Not enough, but a little bit. So I'm, hang I'm hanging on to that for the opinion bonus later. Deli. We're going to have to piece this out, and I'm not giving you anything for it, so you figure out what you want to do, but... Can I pick up anything useful here? I can. Let me pick up influence ideas. Do you stack with either one of these two? Allow claims bordering claims and monthly favor growth. That doesn't help. Vassal force limit contribution and loyalty equilibrium. That also doesn't really help. But I will have two and almost three there. I can pick up the extra morale if I really want to. Why not? I can use the extra morale because apparently I'm fighting Delhi. So that's really what I wanted to be doing when I liberated these two guys over here. All this trying to avoid fighting Delhi, and then they end up attacking this guy just to make my life a little bit miserable. And now I have to come through and actually deal with this. And the worst part is, since he's fully occupied, he will eventually 100%, and because he'll have extra war score, he could actually give him whatever he has of mine that is actually occupied. No. Let him take them out. Oh, I really don't want to be sieging out a mountain, but... Do 
You're at 37,000 manpower with no reinforcements. Well, no manpower left. I have the ability to still throw out some mercenaries, though I'd really rather not. To be quite honest. Oh, fine. Let's have another negative event. So, I'm trying to think of why I can't integrate these guys. Like, there's no reason why it got stuck. I'm just going to cancel it for now. Because it's not really changing anything at the moment. And I'll pick this up, which should help at least integrate the rest of these guys. I don't know if I'm keeping influence, but spending 1,200... Uh, Diplo points to make it so I can get them cheaper, I think is worthwhile. Come on, take cobble. Thank you. So, you still won't peace out. Uh. Cool. I got an upgrade. He's not great, he's below average slightly, but I will take slightly below average if that means I don't have worse. Ah, oh, Delhi, Delhi, Delhi. So, I'm gonna have to fight you later. Bengal, will you ally up? Yeah, you will. You absolutely will. So, I'm going to replace Delhi with you. And, yeah, I'll take the extra mysticism. I kind of desperately need it at the moment. In fact, I have the Diplo points now. I will still take that, even though I am still having, you know, problems. Come on, peace out, dude. Thank you. Frickin' deadly, man. How am I at negative 1% with you? Malwa? Because Malwa's being annoying? Yeah, that's Drylands. I don't want to fight there. I need to seize land. I need to do so much at peace right now. But I still have to come over here and deal with this. All because of Delhi being a dick. You know what? I need to get guys in the field to go handle these rebels because I'm not having troops available to do it. And they can handle everybody but the peasants, so... Who is still disloyal? Syria and Afghanistan. Yep. Yes, you are. I love how I'm still having Galani separatists after pretty much the entire game of Galan being taken out. They were like taken out, they're the first person eliminated from the map in like the entire world, but I'm still dealing with rebels from them because I still haven't really, you know, converted their province. They're just hanging on. Okay, now that that's done, let's head down here, take out that rebel stack. This will flip back once I'm done with this war. Come on, take it. Cool, mysticism. Our general slacking. Click the button. Seventeen thousand manpower. Take it. Thank you. So now I just got to get onto their capital fort, and that should be enough. Should be. Probably isn't, but should be. 
At least to get as much out of Sind as possible. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. I, I would rather take this fort first. A lot? Okay. Just took out this Chandabar one, and I'll give you, take Bella off of you. That way, this mountain fort actually works. Or it's actually going to be most effective there. Okay, you're still disloyal. I haven't cored that yet? I could have swore I've clicked the buttons at least once this time for a while, so no idea what happened. Where is that stack there? These peasants just seem to be stuck, so uh, I'm going to run with that. You have no cannons. You have three cannons, but no real manpower in them, but that should change. Oh, cool. Your capital's up here. Go get on it. And I can use this for a lot of manpower. Or to get these guys... No, they're not still not going to be loyal. Who am I kidding? I'll take the manpower, because I need the manpower most of anything else. In fact, you just come over here and attack them. I think you're a decent general, and... Oh no, they're better. But this is a mountain fort, so you should should actually be able to do this. Go smack him. There we go. You're still not willing to give me what I want, but you're awfully close. How did you lose that? It's a mount- oh, because another stack came in. That makes so much sense. I'm like, dude, how did you turn that around? Ah, oh, come on. So I'll not take these two provinces then. So Karan and Quistan. Well, I can still take it. It just doesn't look like I can take all of it, so... Take those cores, and then Bukhara, you're the last one. Go get on that fort, because that's where the gold mine is. So I want it. I want it really bad. Because yeah, my my income is really bad. Don't need that stack that stack anymore though. That should help save me some money, though it looks like my money actually got worse after deleting them. Which is kind of funny. How? Huh. I have no idea. So Malwa's at medium, so they're still not willing to peace out, but they're getting there. Just let them keep taking attrition on a mountain fort is a good way to go get that done. Okay, you've now... Alright, go and occupy as much as you possibly can, as fast as you can, to drive up their war exhaustion and willingness to peace out and accept whatever I offer them. And you are at war against Austria in the Protestant League, so that'll distract you for a bit. I'm not giving you a bunch of money. That That's not happening. As far as Bukhara is concerned, you're going to be giving back the cores to all of my lands, and my vassals' lands. I'm taking this province. I don't think these have any real value. Yeah, they don't. But other than that, I'm taking all your money, because you're, you're making me take loans and fight stupid fights. Bengal, let's, let's be friends. Del
What's up, everybody? It's time to give away no CD key, and today it's Turbo Golf Racing. If you want a copy of this game, just comment the word golf below. And at the end of the week, I'll go through, I'll pick one of the comments that actually said the word at random. And to that comment, I will reply the CD key. Obviously, everyone can see the CD key at that point, so be sure you're actually paying attention to your notifications. Otherwise, people might steal it from you. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Let's be enemies. You have Afghan cores anyway, so you kind of knew this was coming eventually. And you deserve it. Let's be honest, you absolutely deserve it. Yeah, you do what you're gonna do. Come on. Malwa, please peace out. Okay, you're almost there. Cool, there we go. Which means you should be ready now. War Reparations does, like, nothing. So what I'll do is I'll break your alliances. I'll keep the... No, I'll get rid of this in one. Because I could use the Prestige. Now, I want you guys to come together and get ready to squish these rebels. Please. And you, please get integrated. Oh man, I have so much war exhaustion. I need to like take some time and just chill because I've been taking way too many attrition casualties, basically, is the easiest way to put it. I don't want to hand this to no guy, but I can't for this so I will give it to no guy as far as the rest of it I mean I'm keeping you around for a bit I need to get you off the map I need to get you off the map so let's work on integrating these two first fine whatever <laughs> I don't like the fact that that just happened, but whatever. Then I can remove these rebels. Internal conflicts. No, let's not have that. Thank you, though. I appreciate the offer. But we will not be doing that. Let's get these guys ready to go. So I do not need, what, about half of you? Okay, that's definitely not what I wanted. What is the click? Right click, okay. I'm pretty sure I've done that like three or four times now where I just click the wrong thing, but please start stomping around, put down all these rebels. And I should be secure, and I just need to worry about my vassals being disloyal. And you take... Oh, nice! You're taking this general, because you have bigger fish to fry. And you are going to be taking this pretty much duplicate of the other guy there. And helping no guy and Transoxiana keep their provinces in control. And I'm not going to war, hopefully, unless by allies keep calling in for a little bit. Because I just need to chill. Syria just keeps gaining disloyalty because they're just developing constantly. So I, I applaud them. They're doing very well. And they took the fort. Basra, they took the fort. And what was that? Not the not you. You. The Protestants won. I mean, I will try. Can't guarantee it'll work. I'll try. Oh, I'm now uh 
able to do some of these clicks, am I not? Oh, I have to wait until he becomes of age. So I can do that at least. I don't want to go to war! What do you not get about that, dude? I have so much of this to buy down. Which is so painful. Uh, Ostracon, you're actually on the map. Oh, I thought I gave this to no guy. Alright. And then there's Muscovy. Who's still alive. You actually took back out Perm, didn't you? You did. Okay. And I'm gaining Diplo power here because... Yeah, why not? I don't mind the fact that you guys are walking all over Syria. Please, continue to do so. That's kind of what he wanted, I think. Just having people walking all over him. It just took two... Uh, if you're going to be following this at all, I will say, try and focus on one of these guys at a time. Because having these guys being disloyal is pretty frustrating. Because the next person I really wanted to integrate was Syria. Because... I don't need any more of their cores. I want to be able to control this land myself because it's high developed land. And yeah, I want to have that. I don't want it to be in their side, but apparently that's what I gotta live with. Hey, thanks Transoxiana. That's a very big help. Poor Atka Yunlu, they, they were doing okay. They weren't doing good, but they were doing okay. And no guy is still stalled. This is the problem with going and vacillating, vassalizing anybody that's a horde. They like have such so low horde unity, they will constantly have tribes being fired. And that stops you from integrating. Unless I'm wrong about what's stopping me in this case, but I don't think it is wrong. I mean, I don't want to ignore you. I'm not trying to be at war. The only reason I'm at war at this moment is because my ally made me come in. Because if I didn't come in, I'd have lost the ally. So, I get it. There are more rebels that I have to go and deal with for him. But for no other reason, so he can core up this gold mine and I can own it. Yeah, it's worth it. I'm trying to think of why other reason would stop me from getting this guy, because it really should have started by now. There we go. Taking way too long. Alright, so it won't take you that long to do this. What's going on in my lands, Ottomans? I joined because I wanted you to take care of this, not make me have to help. I don't want to lose this ability, dude. <sighs> I have pretender rebels. 
I mean, okay. I don't know who they're pretending to be, but... I don't think they have to. My guy's not even in charge yet. Talk about being impatient. Overthrow the king before he even gets to be king. So, printing press takes forever. Like, it really does. And I'm not fighting anybody that I think is going to have it anytime soon. So I don't think I'm going to fall behind. But, oh, do I want to just dev. Just get it done with. I need... I uh, can't really afford you. I can do you, but I'm going to be losing even more Diplo power a month. The only advantage is, is that this will go faster. But what I can do is scornfully insult Delhi, and maybe he'll break that royal marriage. No, no he won't, because I can't break it. Can we be done with this now? Like, seriously? This is such a pointless war for me, so... I'd like it to end. Three hundred and thirty-seven ducats. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the alliance with you. And get started on getting those favors. Otherwise, I'm basically just sitting here, allowing myself to recover a bit from that Oirat war. I think that is really when it started to spiral with uh, war exhaustion. The lack of manpower, everything, because I didn't expect Delhi to get punched that hard by Oirats. I mean, I guess it's understandable. They don't really have a whole lot of non-flat terrain in their country, and the Oirats, or being the Oirats, are going to do a lot of damage with that. Oh, you did, didn't you? You just broke with me. Because you just decided all of my land is vital interest. All of Syria, and all of this. Yep, of course you did. And you are going to stop, because you are not going anywhere. So if you have 70,000, I'm right sitting at 50,000. I can get up to 63. Okay. That's not quite so bad. By doing so, I can keep them still bottled up. But I think I need to get somebody that'll help me fight with the Ottomans. So let's go ahead and make the Ottomans a rival and see who's willing to help me out here. I cannot do a scornful insult right now. Tech attack and increase our opinion with the Polish. Because if I can get the Polish on my side, that should help neutralize them. The Austrians are okay, but I don't think they're ever going to ally me. Just way too much, and no, I might be able to actually. Other than that, it's just the Spanish. The Spanish, I don't think, are going to ally me either, but they might. But if I can get these three on my side, or even potentially four, yeah, that ain't happening. I should be able to turn this around and make it so it's very, very, very bad for the Ottomans. Let's see here. Let's at least pick up the Polish before we do anything else. Because that way I can also make sure there's no Russian issue, because I'll have them there. Oh, nice! Sweden's coming in to smack them on the other side, and they took Novgorod, so... In order for Moscow to form Russia, they'd have to both take Moscow back and Novgorod, because Sweden took that. So that's even better. But now at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm secure in the fact that I don't have to worry about anybody. Can I... I can seize land. I'll seize land, absolutely. 
And I'm not getting Spain. <laughs> That's not happening now. Um, okay. I don't know why you decided I'm your biggest problem. There are so many other people close by that could be considered a problem. But hey, you do you. You just got done fighting the League Wars. You'd figure... And now Egypt. And now England. Okay. Uh, don't know why. Like, England, you're not even near me. Like, seriously. You haven't even formed uh, Great Britain yet. So, yeah. What are you doing? Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. We should be friends. I don't know why you haven't formed the Commonwealth yet, but you haven't. But either way, I guess good for you. Now we should outnumber you. Uh, it's not going to tell me. Wait, you're allied to the French? Just to check the Spanish, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You do that. Because I need to still put a fort up there. Perfect. That'll give me the money to buy forts. Which I'm desperately going to need because I've been not building them because I haven't had to deal with a fort for the Ottomans yet. That's covered. Mosul and Sinjar. There's nothing over here really worth putting a fort on. But I can still build them. just to help slow them down a little bit. Not even necessarily to fight them there, just to slow them down. Still need to core you? Oh, that's right. Because I don't have the range, so you go ahead and do it then. They should get the core done before I'm done integrating them, so that's fine. And it's just a little bit more. It shouldn't be that much more. So Bengal, I have you as an alliance. You're still taking up a slot. I can't scornfully insult yet, but I can still regular insult. And then there's possibly picking up Austria, though I have a distinct impression that's not happening. Because, yeah, he's allied to England. France is allied to the Ottomans. Hello, Bob. Please don't bite me. Whenever I'm not doing what my cat wants me to do, she ends up coming up and biting me, so... I mean, you're not bad. I mean... I don't want to do that? But, fine? I guess this is what I'm living with? I mean, I'd, I'd rather have some mill points coming in, but hey. I guess I can't have everything. I hate coups. I hate coups. I hate those stupid events. So I can form Persia. I really want to get these guys integrated because I should be able to jump straight down to this one for that shock damage, which will really, really help if I actually have to fight the Ottomans. Especially if France is coming in. Though, they may get distracted. That They weren't exactly happy about coming over here to help the Ottomans fight. Because they're in a lot of debt. And if their economy can't recover out of that 25,000... Sorry, 2,500 debt... That might stop them. But that's going to be something I'm going to have to take up next time. Because I am pretty sure I'm over the time limit. Yeah, I definitely am. So I can't pick up Spain. I can't pick up England. I can't pick up France. Muscovy, I'm already attacking, so that's not in. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pick up Sweden. Despite the fact we hate the same people. They're just so far away. They're not going to come down and help. Bohemia, they hate Poland. So yeah, it's just everywhere I look... Everyone is going to be 
ambivalent about helping me. So at this point, I think I need to just keep the Ottomans checked. Though, if, every time I look at them, they keep getting more troops. So let's hire another one of these guys. I'll put them over here. Because that way I'll still have enough guys in the field for them to probably not want to start anything. And that should keep them from wanting to do anything, because then Poland will jump in. And France is not likely to be willing to come all the way over here for a fight. That seems a bit extreme. So, as long as I can keep the Ottomans from wanting to attack me, all I really need to do now is become Zoroastrian and fight my way down to about here. To, no, actually, to here. Which is not that bad. It's just I have to take out Bingenagar. So who else in this area can I pick up? Who else will help me? Who else will I have to fight? Will be dependent on what it really rolls out to, but... Delhi, you're really my next big target, because you've been just a thorn in my side lately. We were chill, and then you became unchill and uncool, and no. You need to be punished for that. But again, I'm going to save that for next time. I can't pick you up as an ally, because you want all my provinces too. <laughs> but at least you're fighting the Mamluks, and I don't... I really legitimately think, do not think that the... Ottomans are going to want to fight me anytime soon, though they do definitely have the quality advantage over me. I just don't think they're going to want to start it, because Poland will come in, so will Lithuania, and all of my vassals. So, for now, for now, I'm safe. So, I'll call it for there, because this is probably going to be the last one I record this week. I will see you guys again next time. If you guys want to see me do anything different, like the next idea groups or anything like that, let me know in a comment below. I'm still likely to get rid of influence at some point, so I could use an idea for that as well, but just let me know. But thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.